Hello everybody. In this spreadsheet tutorial, we're going to be going over the match and index functions. We will be using LibreOffice Calc. However, for the most part, this should work pretty much the same in other spreadsheet applications such as Excel. A couple quick definitions. Match returns the relative position of an item in an array that matches a specified value in a specified order. Index returns a value or reference of the cell at the intersection of a particular row and column in a given range. The first thing we want to do is create a drop down list of our movies. So let's use data validation for that. Let's go to data, validity, criteria, allow, cell range. We're going to check all of these boxes. The source will be our movies list. Let's click OK, and let's just choose a movie. Let's choose Avatar. Now, let's go over an example of match. To use match, let's step out equals match. The first argument is the search criteria. We're going to go ahead and use our movie here. Next is the lookup array. The array that we're going to look in for this movie is our movie list here. Now in this case, we don't need to lock this. However, if you're gonna copy your formula, be aware of where you might need to lock parts of your cell references. Our next argument is the match type, and we want zero for exact. Now, in this list, Alice in Wonderland is row one, and Avatar is row two. And when we hit return, you can see we get row two. So that's what match gives us. Now by itself, that might not be that useful. However, when you combine match with other formulas and functions, it can be much more powerful. Now, let's go over index. Equals index. The first argument is the reference array. We're gonna choose all of our data here. And notice that we've left out the headers, okay? The next argument is the row. Again, we want avatar. That would be row two. So let's just go ahead and put in two. And the final argument that we need is the column. That would be C for revenue or three. Now let's check the revenue for avatar and make sure it matches. We have 2.7 billion. And that's what we get. Let's do a comparison. And we get true. It matches. Okay. Now, when we take another look at this formula, notice that we hard-coded in the 2 and the 3. Instead of doing that, we can use the match. So, for row 2, let's put in match. The first argument, the search criteria, is avatar. The lookup array is the list of movies. And the type is 0 for exact. Okay. So you can see that that works just fine. Now let's change our movie to say Frozen. We can see the revenue for Frozen matches, okay? Let's change it again to Minions. If we go over to Minions, we can see that the revenue matches. Now one final thing is we can even replace this hard-coded three for the revenue column with a match. To do that, let's type out match. The search criteria is revenue. So we just put that in double quotes. The lookup array are these three headers. And finally, we want zero for exact. So let's test it. Let's go ahead and change this to Iron Man 3. So let's find Iron Man 3, and we can see that it matches. Let's change it again. Let's choose Titanic, and we can see that the revenue matches. That's all we have for this spreadsheet tutorial on the match and index functions. We will be doing many more spreadsheet tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.